Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The Cameron County Sheriff's Department now has a new tool in their jail to better track criminals that come through their facility. With a quick picture of the eye, it will take just seconds for jailers to know exactly who they're dealing with. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez got a close look at how this system works. She's in our Cameron County newsroom to explain. Daisy. It's called IRIS, Inmate Recognition Identification System. Cameron County Sheriff Omar Lucio says it will identify inmates and their criminal history by scanning their eye, making it harder for imposters to evade authorities. Sheriff Lucio says the Carrizales Rocker Detention Center is the first in the state to get the system. El Paso is also using it. The sophisticated technology scans an inmate's eye and records that person's unique iris. Their identifying information is then recorded in the system and indefinitely attached to their iris. If that inmate has already been at another jail that uses iris, their information from their previous arrests will pop up. Lucio says in a border area where people are constantly on the move and in many instances find it easy to use aliases to evade capture by authorities, this technology will make it impossible for anyone to pretend to be someone they're not. And especially when it's an illegal person who comes in here because they know going to, well, they're picked, picked up by the Border Patrol or anywhere else, they don't want to give the same name because they know they go here two, three times and they get arrested, they go to the federal prison. So consequently, they will give you different names and aliases. And sure, we do have fingerprints, but fingerprints sometimes takes a long time to get it back. The sheriff says the jail can have 1,600 inmates at any given point, so there is room for human error, as was the case several years ago. An inmate convinced another to exchange ID bracelets with him in exchange for money. He walked out of the jail without any issues. Sheriff Lucio says although the inmate was caught several hours later, it can't happen again. The county jail will have the system for the first three years free of charge. If they decide to keep it after that, Lucio says, then they will be charged a fee. Already everyone in custody was scanned and the sheriff tells us everyone matched the identity they provided law enforcement. He says every inmate will be scanned when they go into the jail and before they leave. From the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.